What's up Geeksters, it's me Omar from Geekster Labs and today I have an iPhone 12 Pro case roundup review. So I have not one, not two, but five cases sent to me from UAG. And so I wanna give you guys a detailed tour of each of these cases and show you how they fit and work with my iPhone 12 Pro. So without further ado, let's get to the review. Okay, so this case is the Outback case from UAG. This one retails for $39.95. This is available in five different colors. Obviously, I have the orange version right here. And this is basically like their biodegradable, eco-friendly style case. So let's check it out. All right, so I have the phone inside the case. And you can see the texture is pretty like a matte finish. It's not like shiny or anything like that. And it's like a softer style of a case. So when you get to the side, let's get to all the buttons and ports real fast. So when we get to the side, we have a big opening here for the mute switch. We have the volume up and down buttons. Are, they are being covered up, but there is like a slight little notch there so you can still kind of feel it when you rub your finger on the edge. And in this case, you can't 100% feel the click. You have to press pretty hard to feel the click through the case. Get to the bottom, we have a nice large opening for the port. So we have for the lightning uh, cable, the microphone, the speaker, everything's pretty much cut away. It's a nice big opening for the port as well. So if you have any lightning connect cables that are larger, they should be able to fit in there pretty fine. Get to the side of the case, we have the other cover here for the uh, sleep and wake button. This one you also have to press kind of hard to get it to uh, respond to it. It's not like a, a, an easy click. You have to put some pressure into it, but that does uh, activate that. And then we get to the back, nice line up here with the camera, the flash, the other all the three cameras, the lenses, and there's no bounce off with the flash on the back of this case. And so as you can see, there is not much of a, a lip on it. So it's pretty minimal style case, as you can see right here. See it on the edge right here. So if you do put it face down on the table, it's technically not touching the screen, but uh, it's barely, there's barely any of a lip on there. So this is like perfect for those of you that don't want a really big bulky case. You just want something that will do a good job of protecting the corners and the back from getting any kind of scratches or anything like that. So let's check out the next case. All right, the next case we have here is from UAG is their Pathfinder SE case. This case retails for $49.95. Comes in two different color options. The one I have here is the Black Midnight Camo version. And so one interesting thing about this case is that it lets you use it with a lanyard if you have a lanyard. It doesn't include one, but I'll show you where you can actually attach one to it. So let's check it out. So here we have the phone inside the case. You can see on the front and bottom right there, that is a spot right there where you can attach a lanyard if you want to, in case you're gonna be using this while traveling or hiking or whatever, you wanna make sure you don't accidentally drop it while taking photos and video. You can attach a lanyard to this case. Now, the other thing you can see that it does have some extra reinforced bumpers right there for the corner protection. So this does a really good job of protecting the corners of the phone. So let's get some close-ups of the port. So on the phone, side of the phone, we can see we have a nice large opening for the mute switch. Our volume up and down buttons are also being covered up, but you can still feel the click really nicely through the case. Have some extra pieces of grip right here, these pieces that kind of protrude out a little bit. Get to the bottom, we have a nice large opening for the lightning connector. We have a big opening for the microphone and the speaker. So if you have larger lightning cables, they should fit in there just fine. Get to the side, we have another uh, cover up here, more ridges that adds extra grip protection or grip for the phone case. And then we have the sleep and wake button. That is covered up, but you can still feel the click right when you push through there. And then we get to the back, we have the opening for the camera. No issues there with bounce off with the, with the flash or anything like that. And we do have like a raised kind of textured type of back as you can see there. It's kind of hard to get on camera, but you can see there it is. So you, it is a little bit raised. So it will work with the MagSafe charger. However, it will not, uh, the magnet doesn't stick to it really easy. So it kind of falls off if you hold the phone up, it might slide off, but it will charge through the case using the MagSafe charger. And it does have a slight lip on the case itself. So as you can see right here on the edge, on this side right here. So if you do put it face down, it's not technically touching the screen of the phone or the glass. It is raised up just a little bit off the edge. Next case in the list is the Metropolis case. This is a leather wallet style case. This one retails for $49.95 and it comes in four different colors. The one I have here is the brown. And as you can see right here, we have that honeycomb kind of shape that adds a little bit of more drop impact protection for the back and the reinforced corners. The phone slides in just easily. This inside piece here is like a TPU style case and the outside wrapping is leather. And this is genuine, like nice Italian leather. So it smells good, it looks good. It will have eventually a nice patina over time after you've worn it in, really good. But like I said, this is the brown version right here. So this is a wallet style case. So as you can see, we have three card slots right here. The interior is nice and felt, so it won't scratch the screen of your phone. And this actually kind of works as a kickstand as well. If you wanted to watch videos and such, you can kind of angle it like that and it will hold it up. And when you are using it, it is a nice big cutaway here. So you can, if you do take photos, you would have to keep in mind that when you flap it completely forward like that, you block the camera. So you do need to have it, the flap to be slightly open in order to, for the camera to shine through there. But let's get some close-ups of the ports. 
we get here, nice large opening once again for the Smute switch. Volume up and downs, those ones you can feel the click really nicely. We have some reinforced bumpers on the corners so that adds a little bit of extra drop protection. Nice large opening for the lighting connector. So if you have larger lighting connectors, no problem there. Microphone, speaker, and the same type of thing on the sleep and wake button. You can still feel that click through there. And like I showed you on the back side, we do have the uh, cutaway for the camera. So no bounce back with the flash. Everything it works really well at the back. And it kind of does, you can see there, it kind of lifts off a little bit there. So it is attached from like this piece right here and it has a little bit of leather here on the bottom. So this is a really nice looking case. I think this, over time, this will probably look really good after it ages a little bit and you have a nice patina, like a worn look to it. And we do have the, the Urban Armor Gear UAG on the front of it there, which is real nice. So you can see the stitching, that's actual real stitching. That's not fake stitching. It's actually stitched in there and everything. So for $49.95, that's a pretty nice, pretty nice style $50 leather case. And this one will work with the MagSafe charger as well. Uh, because it is built up quite a bit on the back, it probably won't hold it up if you were to if it, it won't if you were to try to use the the mount like a mag magsafe mount like a car mount or something, it won't probably hold it up against that because it's a little bit thicker. But if you do have just a regular magsafe that sits on top of the desk, it will charge through the case. All right, here is the Cadillac of UAG's case lineup, and this is the Monarch series case. This one retails for $59.95. It's available in four different colors. I have the red crimson one here. As you can see, it kind of looks like it has a kind of like a metallic finish to it. Um, this one offers five layers of protection, so two times drop protection. So this is the most drop protection uh, version of the, all of the cases that they have. This is probably one of the most protective ones. So let's crack it open and check it out. All right, so here we have the case with the phone in it. As you can see, there's actually some nice leather grain inside there as well. So this is quite a protective case. It's not super bulky, but it is thicker and bigger than the other cases. Um, as you can see from the side there, it does actually have some thickness to it. And because of that thickness and built up in the back, this will not work with the MagSafe charger. If you do have the, uh, the MagSafe one, the wireless Qi charger, because it has so much built into the back. But let's check out the buttons and ports. So when you get to the side, when you get to the side, everything looks real similar to the other style cases. A big opening for the mute switch. So the, uh, the volume up and down buttons, you can still feel those clicks through there. It has a textured little honeycomb pattern on the side of there for extra grip. Large opening for the lightning. Microphone, speaker, everything's large and easy to get to. And then we have a cover right here on the side for the sleep and wake button. You can still feel the click through that as well. And then we get to the back and we have the opening for the camera. Everything lines up really well right there. No bounce off with the flash or anything like that. That is all good to go. But you can see how much extra the, the, the corner protection is. Those are really raised up by a lot. The back is built up quite a bit as well. So this is a really protective case, which is why it retails for a little bit more than the rest of them. 60 bucks, which is still pretty nice, not too expensive if you want a really protective case. It does have more of a lip on it as well, as you can see right here. So there's more of a built up edge to it, as you can see on the screen. So if it is face down on the table, it's definitely not touching the glass screen on there. And even if you were to drop it face forward, I think that there's probably enough of a lip on that it would probably protect it from getting damaged or hitting the glass or messing it up. So definitely a protective case, the Monarch series case. So those are my thoughts on these products. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you want to check out some of my other reviews, I got two other clips over here you can click on. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on my face. And don't forget to ring that bell to be notified of all my new reviews as they drop on my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video review.